There we go. Let's see if we get a better shot today. Where are they? I hope it's in focus because I can't focus it with just one hand. fuzzing up they got little black heads and fuzz on their little tiny bodies. April 18th at 8.08 at 57 degrees in Lemon Grove, San Diego, California. Boom spike is getting nice and tall. Oh, we have a new one coming. The onion spike. There's a potato. None of those seeds are coming up yet. Used up all my water yesterday. It had wigglers in it. That was all the reason I needed to water everything really well. I need to fill everything up again today. Had my tomatoes yesterday. And there's a whole bunch more coming. That's a so-called tomato tree. Now, that's really just a cherry tomato. Brought in catnip. Both dried, naturally dried. And some of the longer spikes for the cat. So now I have a drunken cat. Since I've been having problems with my comments either getting them or finding them after reading them in an email or my comments disappearing after I've commented what I'm going to start doing is if someone asks a question I am going to put it on video the first one is from Fifty Shades of Green was asking about the loquat. What it was, and I looked it up and it just says it's an astringent fruit. It's in the rose family. And they've got a slight fur on them. Unless you walk into it all the time. Oh, that's still green. They're really, really sour to me. If they're still green. Yep, still green. They're different. And it's still sour. But it has two great big seeds on the inside. On average. But these are huge. But it seems like every one of the seeds do grow. So if you can ever, it's a, um, tropical too. So if you try to grow it in colder places, I would say grow it in a pot and bring it in or into the garage during the winter. Tough skin. I usually peel it off. I only have one hand. There's the other seed. And that piece is tough, and that piece, I guess just the bottom is tough. But that's a loquat. Very juicy. If you wait until the skin starts to wrinkle a little, then they're sweet. Juicy, juicy, juicy. The next one is from Deborah Christmas was asking about the Sarama, Saramo, Sar the little bitty chickens. So here you go.
There's Mr. Man. Oh yes, they'd love to have a piece of paper. Let me know in the comments below if that sounds like a good idea. I don't know if this is showing up, but the edges... Oh, there's a bug. A biter. All the edges of the strawberry plant has got moisture on it. Is that a dandelion or a lettuce? It's probably dandelion. Picked strawberries yesterday. And the day before yesterday, I made made cake waffles and put homemade chocolate frosting. Then mashed up my nine strawberries and poured them over the top. Oh, that was so good. Looking for new strawberries. Nothing fresh. Nothing ripe. There's one. One little deformed thing. Lavender and more cherries. But I see more spider mites. That's ivory dishwashing liquid and water. I don't know what's up with the lavender. It's putting out growth now at least. Somebody's been digging. Shame on you. I was going to plant over here today. Thought I was safe. Apparently there's some sort of grubbies or something in there. And a little something. It looks more like raccoon because usually skunks dig a little tiny tubular, almost tubular funnel. Oh, the blossoms are starting to die back. It's going to be raining orange nasturtium seeds before long. Look at the buds are getting big. They're just everywhere. I wonder what I do with my paintbrush. I have more. I will find one and keep it out here. That's a ginger big yellow feet being chased by the ATBT BT rooster. Laura said she saw the caterpillar on the bottom of a leaf. I don't see it. I see where it's been eating. Nope, don't see the caterpillar. Strawberries. Dusty Miller survived. Look how that's filling in already. Tomatoes are getting tall. They don't have enough light. Or not enough light long enough. Oh, somebody's digging into potatoes. Hope they found what they were looking for. And they've been digging there. Ah, oh, this one's got a blossom on it. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Evening primrose. You're wet enough. And something's still chewing on it. Oh, we got a flower bud though. This is Xenia's. Oh, I see a slick. So it's slugs. Eggs didn't help. Eggshells. Oh, so we've been digging in there. And they dug back there. Those are carrots. Don't dig up my carrots. Oh, got a couple of good sized ones. I get to plant more radishes today, or root crops. Just planted lettuce. Nothing's coming up yet. And salvia. A patty pan. Elephant ear needs to be transplanted still. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.